the Power Query Split column feature in Excel. It's very powerful. So what we're going to take a look at in this demo is taking the country's official languages and split them up where you see the commas. And so for example, for Belgium, we have French, German, and Dutch as the official languages. And so we're going to be able to use the split column basically to either break it up into columns or rows. And I'm going to share with you an example on um, how to do that here. All right. So the first thing is we have a table, we navigate to the data tab, and in the get and transform data, select from table range. This will bring up the Power Query editor. And at this point of time, we would just simply select the column or the field that you'd like to split. And on the Home tab, we have Split Column. Okay, we have By Delimiter. And if we were to select the custom tab. What we're going to do is type a comma and then a space. That way when we end up splitting things out, we're not going to get an empty space in front of the, the new language. The next step would be to specify how you'd like it to go. So let's, let's suppose we wanted to put it in columns. We hit OK and watch that our official language splits out as many as necessary so Norway has six, six languages. Um, as, uh, how, that's how that provided there. Okay. And then when we're done, you just hit close and load to. New worksheets, fine. Boom. That is awesome. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at another quick example here. Same thing bring it into the Power Query Editor from table range, split column by delimiter. I'm going to show you something that we might be tempted to do. We might be tempted to say comma here. Now this time let's split it up by rows. Hit OK. OK, but notice, OK, so it's working. It's definitely working. When we look at Canada, you can see that French, English, Canadian English, Canadian French. When you see carefully where my mouse is, there's an actual space here. That's because I did not emphasize the split with a comma and space there. So how would we fix that? We would just go back into the right-hand side of the query settings, and we can actually change it here with a comma space, then hit OK. And you see just like that, they brought it in there. But even if we didn't do that, even if we didn't do that, there's a really cool feature here. So I got it back to now there's spaces. A really powerful feature. I'm gonna just go ahead and save and close and load that. All right, now, that feature that I'm talking about is the trim function. If we're familiar with the trim function equals trim, this will guarantee that there's no spaces here. However, you would want to do that in the Power Query Editor. So I can get back into it, double clicking on the side here, and check this out. If I get data with spaces on it, I can easily transform that by selecting the Format tab here, Format Command, and do Trim. And that's going to um, automatically adjust that so I can, just, I can just get out of here, right? I can just close and load. And just like that, it, it automatically did there. So pretty, pretty awesome, awesome stuff there. So we just learned how to use the split column by delimiter. And that's a very powerful feature that you have to split by rows or columns. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to get more videos, check out my blog at sequentialsolutions.com forward slash blog. Or if you just got a quick question, you want to share a question or something that's on your mind, you can email me at stevechase at sequentialsolutions.com. Have a great day, guys.